So I want to dedicate this to, to my buddy, uh, the late great king of the blues, Mr. B.B. King. This is called You've Been Mean. No matter where you wander, no matter where you go, watch the seed you scatter, but you reap just what you sow. Crime won't help you. And I know that crime won't help you. Yeah, crime won't help you if you've been treating somebody mean. Every word you say, every deed you do, watch what you're putting down. Feed it down to catch up to you. Crime won't help you. Your tears don't do the bit of good. Been treating your baby the way you should. Now, have you been me? Just treating, been lying, cheating. Crime won't help you now. Crime won't help you, little girl. Yes, I know that crime won't help you if you've been treating somebody me. Get me, Billy. definition right there. That is the groove right there. Put a little bass on the groove for me, Tony. You feel that? That's some funky glue right there. You got a soul still. Stir it around for it, Michael.
that's more than I can say for my shoes. Speaking of the blues, I got them. That's more than I can afford to lose. I can't beg, borrow, or steal a buck. Man, that's nothing but buzzard luck. I can't get on relief because I'm traveling. I really have nowhere to go. My last pair of pants is unraveling. And I don't know a gal that can sew. I got in a fight. I was too weak to duck. Man, that's nothing but buzz and luck. Like a buzzard flying high in the sky. I can't kill nothing, and nothing won't die. Like a bug, a bug, a bug, a bug. It wouldn't be boiling if the flame wasn't hot. You know, I left my little town in Texas. Spent three years in Illinois. But when I got back, I was disgusted. I had a month old baby boy. She took me to court. The judge said, You're stuck. Man, that's nothing but buzz and luck. Flying high in the sky I can't kill nothing Nothing won't die There's nothing boiling but the water in the pot It wouldn't be boiling if the flame wasn't hot I left my little town in Texas Spent three years in Chicago, Illinois And when I got back, I was disgusted I had a month-old baby boy She took me to court the judge said you're stuck. Man, that's nothing but buzz and luck. Buzz and luck. What? Billy tune off the first album. This is called What Have I Been Drinking? Lying on the ground in the middle of the street, calling on my knees, but I think I'm on my feet. What have I been drinking? Make my mind so slow. The bartender said it's whiskey, but I know it can't be so. Rock at 10 o'clock at night when it's 2 in the morning. I'm higher than a kite. What have I been drinking? I can't hardly see. I haven't got the bottle, but the juice got a hold on me. Uh huh. What have I been drinking? Won't you tell me what have I been drinking? What have I been drinking? Living on the bottle of the show. I know it is the soul. Take two, Michael. Show. 
I know it is a soul. Come on, Bill, take two. Tell me. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much. I told you before, I come from Chicago. I had a very good, uh, close friend there, buddy, uh, drummer Bob Sticks Carter. His dad even was a, 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 a drummer in the big band era. And Bob and I played a lot of blues uh, over the years in Chicago before I come up. And, you know, we'd, we'd play at a bar, and it'd be 2 o'clock. And that it would be time to find an after hours bar. <laughs> and then some hours later, we'd be looking at each other and, and discussing, you know, that it wasn't going to be good by the time we got home with the girlfriend or the wife. And we, you know, we hypothesized, wouldn't it be great to have a scapegoat? Something to blame it on. So we come up with a song called... Uh, Blame it on the blues. I dedicate this to the memory of my good friend, uh, Bobby Sticks Carter. Blame it on the blues. <laughs> I've got laid off my job. Boss said the checks in the mail. Got drunk at the club. I slept it off in jail And when I got back home My baby had the house up for sale They know me at the pawn shop By my first name I'm sleeping in my car Things just ain't quite the same And my friends are telling me I only got myself to blame I'm gonna blame it on the blues Got nothing to lose I'm gonna blame it on the blues You know I'm paying my dues I blame it Yes, I'm gonna blame it on the blues My baby taught me 
Life ain't nothing but the blues. One day you win, the next day you lose. She gave me one important piece of advice every day of your life. You roll the dice. My last ten went down to the expo park. I knew that horse was coming in, and I won ten thousand dollars, and my baby's back with me again. I wonder why. I blame it on the blues. I got nothing to lose. suggestion. Time, const time constraints. Damn. Uh, well, well, we'll go to this one. This is uh, off the first album uh, that I first heard uh, from Albert King. This is called Personal Manager. I want to be your personal manager, baby I want to do everything I can for you I'll be your personal manager, baby mm, I'll do everything I can for you And I'll be with you when all of your friends are through If you sign my contract You know all of your worries are over for you Just sign this contract, huh? I'll be your milkman every morning Your ice cream man when the day is through
take care of all your business. How about it for Mike Collin? You can stay home. You can rest assured, baby. I won't let a thing go down wrong. I'll be your personal manager. 24 hours a day. I'll do everything I can for you. And I'll be there beside you when all of them so called friends are through. Thank you. You can stay at home. Just rest assured, baby. I won't let a thing go down wrong. I'll be your personal manager, baby. I'll do everything I can for you. I'll be your milkman every morning. Your ice cream man when the day is through. Take me home, Bill. Thank you so much. Thank you. We were upstairs in the green room, picked up this, uh, it was a book, a coffee table book, said, oh, what a feeling was there. A, uh, a book about the Juno Awards going all the way back to the 70s. And Juno Award winners. We, had, we picked up a few Junos along the way, so I was looking through the book. I said, hey, Bill, 
there's a picture of you in here. So it was the band and Bill. How old were you at that, in that picture? Twenty. Wow. Yeah, probably. <laughs> The, the shorts look good on you. I don't know about the Argyle knee socks. <laughs> anyway, it was an old, an old picture, and we were trying to figure out whether it was 1980 or 1981, but it, it, we, he reminded me that we had been the, um, the previous week in Texas, and uh, we were flew in to do some, some dates in Austin and Houston and around that area. And I got into, we got into town a day early, and of course, you know, the night off, come on, let's look for trouble. So it was like, where's the bar with the music? We're in Austin, I'd never been there before. And we found this bar, there was a trio playing, guitar, bass, and drums, a little storefront, no stage, just a, a tile floor and beers in this band. And this guy was like, this guitar player was tearing up. It wasn't just that he was like one of the greatest guitar players I'd ever seen, but I was really focused on guitar at that point. And he was playing stuff that I was sort of imagining I might play in about a year or two. He was already standing on that ground. And it was devastating to see this guy. And the, the trio was marvelous. And it turned out that we were playing a double bill with him the next night in a big club, which was called the Rome Inn. This is the, one of the kind of Austin bars where they have peanut shells all over the floor and all the guys have the big belt buckles and they dance like this, right, with their <laughs> cowboy boots and their thumbs in their belt. And it, was, it probably was 1,500 people. Anyway, that was Stevie Ray Vaughan. <laughs> and, it was a, and no one had really knew about him at the time except down in Texas. And we sort of, we chummed up, you know, we're talking about this and that. And we flew back. We had to do the Juno Awards in Toronto. We flew back and did that. So while I was in Toronto, I went to stop to see my record label, which was Capitol Records Canada at the time, and went into the guy, the head of A&R, that's the guy that decides who's going to be on the label. And I said to the guy, man, I've just been down in Austin, Texas. I've seen this guy, like he plays like Hendrix. This guy's really good. You've got to sign him. Nobody knows who he is. He says, well, what does he play? I said, he plays blues. He said, blues doesn't sell. <laughs> so he turned, he turned the guy down. So now we go... 1980, the Ontario Place Forum, they, uh, this was out at, on the lake, Lake Ontario, and it's out in a park outside venue. And they have a revolving round stage, and then there's grandstands all over on around, and then there's grass behind it, and so at night, people, you know, you get 15, 20,000 people out there, right? And so we were playing this show. Unbeknownst to me, there was this 15-year-old and his mom in the first row, and I played that solo where I, you know, I go up all uh, on the neck and I get higher and higher. And higher. I play this G above G that's not really on the neck because I have this little pickup that's flat and I can sort of cheat the note. So I did that that, that night. Fly, now, now flash ahead five years, follow me, stay with me here. I'm at the Elma Combo in Toronto, this is going somewhere, in the green room, and that was an ugly and dirty room, but a fantastic club, and generally they go hand in hand. And in walks this kid, about 20, and he says, I saw you, I heard you at Ontario Place Forum, and I heard you play that solo. How did you play the G above G? And I said, well, I, you know, I played Gibson, I just sort of cheated it on the, on the pickup. And he said, I've been waiting five years to figure out that. And that was Jeff Healy. <laughs> so, and then Jeff and I became very good friends. And, uh, I went back to the same a &R guy at Capitol, and I said, you know, you passed on Stevie Ray Vaughan. There's a guy who's from Toronto, your town. He plays as good as, as Stevie Ray Vaughan. He's a marvelous guitar player. You have to sign this guy. He says, what do you play? I said, well, he plays the blues. He says, no, <laughs> blues doesn't sell. I said, you told me that was Stevie Ray. He said, well, that was a fluke. So to, to, to stay the story, Jeff came out to my studio here in Vancouver, Blue Wave Studios, and cut some demos, and those demos were the one that got his million dollar contract with Clive Davis. So this, this, story, this story carries on briefly. Whoever saw um, Roadhouse with Patrick Swayze? All right, yeah, so Patrick Swayze's the bouncer in that bar, the Texas bar, which was not unlike the Roman. And Jeff and his band, or the house band, right? And so they play this tune, Powder Blues tune, that I wrote with my brother. This is called Hear That Guitar Ring. So I like to 